Hello everyone, I'm Krollos and this is Mirror of Guidance. This is our second video about the treasures and the monuments that will be displayed very soon at the Grand Egyptian Museum. If you want to watch our first video about King Sinser the First and his ten statues, go to the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get all the new videos about the Grand Egyptian Museum and about ancient Egypt. Stay with us. The Hanging Obelisk, the first of its kind in the whole world. The Grand Egyptian Museum announced that the installation of first hanging obelisk in the world has been completed. The obelisk will be suspended upon four columns, and the visitors will be able to stand on the base of the obelisk, which covered with a glass plate, and look up directly to the interior of the body of the obelisk, which is inscribed with a rare cartouche of King Ramses II. And this cartouche has not been seen for more than 3,500 years. I can't wait to see it. In this case, the visitors will feel like that. They are standing inside the body of the obelisk itself, between the base and the rest of the body of the obelisk. The rest of the body of the obelisk is actually inscribed with the name of Egypt in many languages. I think it's very interesting. The installation of this obelisk was very complicated, as it needed to be protected from the vibrations of the cars and the metro underground system that surrounded the museum. And now let's talk about the historical background of this obelisk. This obelisk dates back to the reign of King Ramses II. He is one of the kings of the 19th dynasty and he is one of the most famous kings in the Egyptian history. He built a lot of huge temples, for example his temples of Abu Simbel in Aswan and also he made a lot of huge statues. For example one of his statues actually now displayed at the Grand Egyptian Museum. And that's why this obelisk is inscribed with the cartouche of King Ramses II. But what is the cartouche? Actually the cartouche is the name of the king and inscribed in oval shape and this oval shape only for the royal blood for the kings to signify the name of the kings from the rest of the texts let's see the cartouche of king ramses ii this is the cartouche of king ramses ii ra mes son of god ra meri imin beloved by god amun and most probably this is the cartouche that will be seen inside the obelisk at the grand egyptian museum i hope you enjoyed my video and i want to know your opinion about this hanging obelisk so uh, leave your opinion in the comments and stay tuned for more videos about the Grand Egyptian Museum and its treasure.